Okay, happy Monday, and this is my apartment video, and my apartment is called The Jungle, so welcome to the jungle, baby. You know where you are? But then they left. Um, but then my boyfriend came, and that's cool. And it's been really, really fun. Um, this is one of my new couches. It's from the 70s, and it was free. And it's awesome. And this is another one of my new couches. Lovely. And this is my IKEA lamp. This is my TV. I don't use it very much. But it's really good for, for some of this business. This is non-fiction. No, this is fiction, sorry. And this is non-fiction. Well, this is my special collection, which is Harry Potter, so it's set aside. But all of the non-fiction is arranged according to the Dewey Decimal System. Um, I'm doing Jen Summer's challenge to record some of your video in every room of your house. And while I do that, I'm gonna do my shoutouts in every room. So this room, because Amy was so pumped to see my couches, Hey Amy, I'm really glad that you got to do, um, you got to teach at Hogwarts and it sounds like you had lots of fun. And I miss you and I love you and you know what? Come to Massachusetts and we can get married any day and it doesn't matter if you're straight, it's okay. And I'm getting glared at from the person behind the camera. But it's all like love and friendship. And these are my lanterns that Thomas's mom gave me. And this is pretty flowers. Um, and I need to do dishes and take out trash soon, but... This is artwork that my friend Shauna did when I was in high school. She was like my best friend ever and then we stopped talking, which sucks because we both just kind of disappeared, but it was really fun. Um, oh, I'm gonna, okay, Liz, you cook a lot, so your shadow is in the kitchen. Um, your sweater is really cool and um, I saw on your Twitter feed that winter has descended upon your town, which is terrifying because I've driven through the mountains to your town and the idea of winter coming into that mix, like, I would probably die. So I hope you stay warm and I hope you guys don't drive because, god. I got these in like 10th grade in anticipation of someday having my own apartment. They're all butter, they're different butterflies. And it's plates and cups and bowls. Um, this is another challenge from um, maybe it's Marlene? I don't remember. I'll edit it in to show you what's on the fridge. I think it's the same stuff that was on my fridge in Illinois, but that's cool. Okay, Cammy, you didn't do a video, and Danny was too nice to punish you, but I'm a Slytherin, so I'm not that nice. Uh, you still haven't done her challenge to talk about ten things, or ten reasons why Slytherin sucks, which I don't necessarily approve since I am a Slytherin, but I'm not going to change her challenge, obviously. So you have to do, in addition to that, 10 reasons why the Phillies did not deserve to win the World Series. This is the bathroom. It's got lots of cool skulls and stuff. Um, rug. Cool little hand towels that need to be washed. Um, here, come look at my nice. I need to do something cooler with those guys. And I will sometime. But, yeah. Um, who's next? Um, Leah, I haven't done you yet. Um, I just want to say, I think it's really impressive that you're doing NaNoWriMo, or people say NaNoWriMo, but I was raised to call it NaNoWriMo when you're like a freshman in college. That's the one time I actually tried to do it, and I think I did okay, but then I lost it all when my hard drive crashed. But I think it's impressive that all of you guys are doing it, but Leah, holy crap, you're a freshman in college, it's your first time away from home, like, in a solid, definite sense. And you have class, and you have everything else, and you're doing, you're writing a freaking novel in a month? Holy crap, wow. And, um, we're gonna hang out soon. This is where the sleeping happens. And, um, Danny, I slept with you once, so this is where your shout out comes from. Um, I really liked your, your awesome facts about movies. Um, you and I have very similar tastes in movies, and all of those movies sound really amazing, and I can't wait to see some of them, especially Alice in Wonderland. Holy crap, it's gonna be freaking awesome. Um, yes. And I don't know where you were recording in your video, but that's a very nice, stately looking house. So, cool. Um, yes. Oh, awesome fact time! This is cool. This is my boyfriend's necklace. Um, 
background story. So there's a book called Sarah by J.T. Leroy. Um, I'll link to J.T. Leroy's stuff over there. Kind of interesting, uh, fake author. But I don't know why I'm touching it. It's kind of gross. Okay, this is a raccoon penis bone. In Sarah, the, um, the pimp would give these out as a symbol of virility and as like a, uh, a way of kind of claiming the prostitutes in question, uh, who are all mostly young boys, I think. But anyway, so this is a raccoon penis bone, and um, when I was reading the book, I didn't actually think that it was that those were real because, you know, most human males don't have these. But apparently, lots of like smaller mammals do, and these are like all of the ones that they sent out were taken from roadkill, but. If you ever wondered what the baculum of a raccoon looks like, this is it. Um, yeah. Love you guys.